Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. In today's video, we're going to see if we can power a Raspberry Pi 4 with a portable battery. Let's get started. So if you haven't checked out the community tab on my YouTube page, I recommend doing so. Sometimes I do post polls and try to get an idea of what kind of video you'd like to see next. For example, here I posted a poll about a week ago and I asked if you'd like to see something on the Neo Geo Arcade Stick Pro, the Turbo Graphics Mini, or something else. And on this poll, Lucky Ram left a very interesting comment. Can I use a power bank on the Raspberry Pi 4? I really like this question because the Pi 4 draws a lot of power. In comparison, I can use a Pi 3 with a power bank without issues. I actually have two power banks that work very well with the Pi 3. So in this video, we will put them to the test with a Pi 4. So the first battery that we will take a look at is the Anker PowerCore 20100. Now I've had this battery for quite a long period of time. It powers a Raspberry Pi 3 without issue, and I really like this battery. It does have some battle scars because it's been very heavily used. This is kind of like my old faithful. It works very well. It works with almost everything I throw at it. Now the second battery that we're taking a look at is the Anker PowerCore 2. 10,000. It's about half the size as the first battery that we've taken a look at here, but it also performs very, very well. I've had this for quite some time and I quite like it. Now, in terms of cables, I recommend using a high quality cable. For me, I'm using an Anchor Powerline USB C. All right, so for the first test, I'm going to be using the Anchor PowerCore 20100. It's the larger of the two batteries and also the older of the two batteries. I'm hoping this is going to work. Everything is plugged in and ready to go. I'll plug in the USB-C cable here. The first thing I see is the LED is on, the fan is spinning, which is a really, really good sign. I can also see that this is booting up. So while it's booting up, one thing I am going to pay attention to is if I see a lightning bolt just on the top corner of the screen here. So one thing to note, if you are using something other than the stock power supply, sometimes it does not deliver enough power to the Raspberry Pi. And the Raspberry Pi lets you know it does put a lightning bolt up into the top corner. You'll see it flicker here and there. And that's just because it's a warning to let you know that the Raspberry Pi is not getting enough power. Right now I have not seen that lightning bolt at all. Everything seems okay. The Pi is booted up. We are in Raspbian right now without issue. So that's really exciting. So right now this battery is supporting the Raspberry Pi 4. Everything is going good. Now to test out the smaller of the two batteries. This is the Anker PowerCore 2 10,000. So it's also the newer of the two. I expect this to work considering the last one just worked, but we'll try it out anyway. So I have the USB-C cable ready to go. I got the Raspberry Pi 4 up, ready to go, and I will plug it in. Now I can see that the LED lit up right away, which is a really good sign. Hopefully it boots up. Yep, I can see it booting up as well. So I'm going to pay attention for that lightning bolt just to make sure that everything's okay. If you do see the lightning bolt again, it's not a good sign. It's not the worst sign, but it's not the best sign either. And I'm not seeing it at all. So it looks like it's booting up right into Raspbian now on the desktop. Yep, everything looks like it's working and ready to go. Well, there you have it. So these are two power banks I guess I can recommend to power the Raspberry Pi 4. I would say the longer you want to power it, the bigger the battery to get. If you want something a little more portable, maybe you're making a portable setup, then you can go for a smaller battery. The smaller battery you go for, the less time the Pi will stay powered. It all depends as well on what you're doing with the Pi, how much you're stressing it in determining battery life. So that is something to consider. But chances are you can get many, many hours of use uh, out of one of these batteries without issue. But anyways, that's all I've got for today. Let me know your thoughts about these power banks in the comments below. If you use a different power bank to power the Pi 4, let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.